Hello, and welcome to the 2005 Subaru Outback 2.5 XT, and you're watching Nick's Car Blog. This turbocharged model was introduced in 2005 and ran until 2009. The turbocharged 2.5 liter flat four makes 250 horsepower and 250 foot-pounds of torque. This car, however, has a Cobb tune on it, which brings it up to about 280 horsepower. I wanna talk for a minute about the styling of this car. I mean, just look at it, it's gorgeous. It's got the two-tone paint with the blue and the gray, these sweet wheels, it's just, it's a gorgeous car. It's got these window thingies. Uh, it's got a bunch of stuff that we'll discuss in a couple minutes, but just take a moment and just look at it. This car started as the Impreza Outback and then it became the Legacy Outback, but then they changed it and then there was the Legacy Grand Wagon and there was, then there was the Outback, but then it wasn't, I don't know, it's, it's, stuff happened. They changed the name a lot. It's confusing. Now let's talk about some of the mods that this car has. There's a few things. The, uh, the headlights are in the JDM style that don't have the orange reflectors. There's a couple carbon fiber bits and pieces here and there. There are many things that have been done in the engine, including this cold air intake from Cobb. As well, we've got sweet rims that are the rally style. As I mentioned, there are those thingies on the windows to let air in when you're racing. It also has a really cool roof rack. In addition to that, it's got a bed in the back, like a, like a, like a bed bed for like sleeping. So you can fit yourself, presumably, in the back. There are also a few other mods. There's a lightweight crank pulley, also from Cobb, and there are hella horns that are hella loud. Oh, also this license plate. It's very cool. I forget what it means though. Moving on to the interior of the vehicle. This interior is just absolutely fabulous. We've got all the creature comforts. Six CD changer. The gauges are lovely. There's a moon roof. I've never been in a car with the moon roof before. It's pretty sick. As well, it has all the regular stuff. Oh, but it does it pass the visor test. This is what we'll see. No, it does not pass the visor test. Oh, wait. This car also has heated wipers, which is an insanely luxurious feature, especially for 2005. You know, you didn't have that sort of stuff very often. And it has, you know, power windows, power mirrors, all the bells and whistles you could want. It also has this really cool storage cubby right here that you could put stuff, you could put more CDs. Think of all the CDs. Think of all the Backstreet Boys you could listen to. Now it's time for my favorite five fun features, starting with this armrest. If you click the button, oh, it comes up. Oh, that's so cool. And then you click the button again, oh, it goes down. That's pretty sick. Another fun feature, feature number two, is the shift knob. It's cool and it's wood, but it also has the Subaru Racing logo, just small, so you can barely see it. The third of the five fun features is the heated seats. On your car, you have heated seats, so you press, it's like the first level, and then you press again, second level. No, 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 not good enough for Subaru. Four levels of seat heating, so you can get your butt just the right amount of toasty. The fourth fun feature is the start ring, because it's red, so you know where to put your key. It's like a race, you're like, I'm ready to race. Well, rally race, I suppose. But anyways, it's red, so you know where to put your key. The fifth fun feature is the level of intermittent rain wipers. And you might say, that's not very fun. Ah, but it is. There are nine settings. Nine. What do you do with, like, how do you calculate that? I don't know, but it's fun. Now it's trunk time. I'm gonna climb in the trunk. But before I do, 
I want to talk about these JDM taillights. They're different from the North American ones, and that's all I remember. The trunk, fairly normal for, a, you know, an Outback. However, on the inside, not normal. As I mentioned before, this one has a bed. So you can camp in it, you can sleep in it. It also has storage underneath for all your stuff. So not only can you sleep in it, you can put all your stuff in it too. It's like the best of both worlds. All right, here we go. It's shorter than I anticipated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> wow. Home sweet home. All right, driving the Subaru out back. Well, I'm driving it in, in the front. It's called, no, never mind. Um, this car feels nice. Like it feels really nice to drive. And there's a couple things I didn't mention earlier. Um, it's got a it's got a roof rack, and there's a one of those little mobile showery things so you can shower when you're camping goes nice with the bed. I also didn't mention before that it has a, it has a Cobb tuning access port here so you can you can run your tunes and it gives you all your information. I can see how much boost is going, what the throttle position is, all that good stuff. It's actually quite a useful uh, useful tool. The gauges are are fabulous. They're outlined in this in this dark red which just looks so good, so clean. Sitting in the in the in the driver's seat, you know, there's a lot of room. It's a very spacious place to be in. The seats are leather, very comfortable. Everything is sort of right where you want it. And if I throw it into sport mode here, I can shift with the buttons on the steering wheel. So it's sort of pre-paddle shifters kind of thing. There's just plus and minus buttons on the steering wheel that are actually really cool. You can you can you know you shift up and down it. It shows the the gear. In the in the gauge cluster, no screens in the gauge cluster. This is 2005, remember? So there's no screens, but that's good because that means in you know five, ten years, it won't look old. And indeed, this car is 15 years old, and it looks nice and modern. There's no weird old screens that you have to worry about. The cruise control stock is in an interesting place. It's attached to the steering wheel, so when you turn, it rotates. I'm gonna throw it into sport mode and boot it up this hill. Look at the speed! Just kidding. I put it in the wrong gear. I hit the button back. <laughs> it sounds great. There's a lot of induction noise, which is really cool. You can hear the blow off of the turbo. Love that! Now I'm going to give it the beans. Beans! Woo. She picks up. This is fabulous. As well, the steering weight is just perfect. It's a little heavier than, than, than some of the cars I've driven, which I like. I, I don't like the, the new craze of all this light steering. It feels solid. You feel connected to the wheels, which is something that I really appreciate. It's also wrapped in this nice leather, it's perforated, feels nice, looks nice. And there's the only buttons on the steering wheel are those, those shifter buttons, which I also appreciate. Nice clean look. It sounds so good! Visibility is also excellent. Being at a wagon, it's you know the big window at the back. So you can sort of see all the way around. The blind spots aren't bad because the windows are just huge back there, just absolutely fabulous. You know the climate controls are laid out fabulously. It's dual zone, and uh, it's all it's all dials. But the screen in the middle tells you what 
temperature you're setting it to. It's not, you know, it's, it, it feels modern in, in that regard. Quite nice. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe on the video. You could also head over to our Facebook page and like our Facebook page, Nick's Car Blog. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Nick's Car Blog, and this was the 2005 Outback 2.5 XT. See you next time.